Hey, today we will create an Android project about the notification float over the data bar, which will support mostly the Android versions. So, the firstly, we will create a project, and I'm going to name the project. I will use the Java language. Okay, so in the layout file main activity. I'm going to insert a button to generate and pop up the float notification whenever I click on it. I'm going to change this layout to the relative so that I can put the button in the center screen. Now uh, we are create a new method to uh, generate a notification. At first, I'm going to define an ID that I'm going to use it later on. I will call the notification service class. And I'm going to cast that to the specific class. And this beginning, I will check in case this app run on Android, which is higher version Android O. I will create a notification channel because the later version Android need this to run to activate the notification. I'm going to start installing the object that I have a constructor that following parameters the ID and then the title and the last one is the type of the notification which is I'm going to choose uh, important high I can set the description name and enable the vibration we also can set the pattern of the vibration as the long array, okay? And next, we can set the visibility, which is mean whether we want to show the notification detail on the lock screen or we are gonna hide it. But actually, in the later Android version, the users can manually go to the setting to do that as well, okay? So and the outside of this if statement, which I want all the Android version to execute it. Okay, this statement for the user click on the notification and launch to the specific activity. It's just like we open the new activity. And this first parameter is the current context and the activity that we want to launch. Okay, and this class is not yet exist and I will create a new activity, then it's gonna be work. And this activity, I'm gonna set those flex. And we start to create a pending intent. And then now uh, we are configure and setting the notification. I'm going to set the small icon, which is show on the data bar like a Facebook or email when they post the notification. You're gonna see that on the data bar. For the large icons, is the square side on the right corner, and you might put those images in this Dropbox folder so that you can access it's by link or uh, just like me in a fixed, uh, fixed location like this. For this big pictures method to set the picture, the big picture ones that you can see it's only in the menu notification. So when you swipe down and you might see that it's very big 
big picture or a big image display in the middle screen. And for the big large icon, I'm going to set to null. And then let me handle with the title and the description. And I can set the priority to the high so that it can be float over the status bar. And I'm going to uh, set the vibration with the same pattern. And this method set auto cancel. If we put the false parameter, it means that when I click on the notification, it's not will dismiss. Or hide the notification and the last we going to set the padding intense into the notification compact and then after that we going to uh, put that builder to the manager compact at last we start a notify with these parameters for the first parameter is the ID, the ID number. If you're allowing with this fixed value, for example, is is a uh, number one. The notification that generate you going to see this only one in the notification menu. Now I'm going to create a new activity with this name. It will generate a new layout and a Java class with the following name. And I'm accidentally put this incorrect image. As you can see, the image at the line number. So let's change that. And now we're going to scroll up in here. I'm not yet called the method yet. I have a button, so I'm going to call that with the click action. Okay, so now we're going to test the application. Let's see the output. I'm going to click on it. And you can see that the notification is float over the status bars. And it actually is in my real device is, is vibrate. If I keep clicking on that again, and I'm going to check the notification menu, you will see the only one notification because of the ID is the fixed value. So if I'm going to change that to the random value, and I'm going to run it again, you're going to see this every time that I'm click, it's going to be uh, appending the notification in the notification menu all right my friends i hope you guys learned something in this video and then please do the subscribe check out the link below for the source code and i see you in the next video